Kingdom Protista and Kingdom Fungi. The second kingdom in Vitacus classification is Kingdom Protista. The Kingdom Protista includes an incredible diversity of different types of organisms which includes algae, protozoans and slime molds. All protists are eukaryotes having complex cells with nuclear membranes and organelles like mitochondria and chloroplast. Protists are either unicellular or multicellular. Some protists are autotrophs, for example, algae. Algae manufacture their own food by photosynthesis or chemosynthesis. Some protists such as protozoans are heterotrophs who eat by phagocytosis. They engulf the food particle which is enclosed by an extension of the cell membrane. This hollow region of the cell is called a vacuole. Other modes of nutrition such as saprotrophic and parasitic are also shown by these protestants. Protists are so small that they do not need any special organs for exchange of gases or for the process of excretion. They rely on simple diffusion where substances move across the cell membrane from the region of their high concentration to the region of their low concentration. All protists are aquatic and can move through water with the help of flagella cilia or pseudopodia. For example, protist euglena moves with the help of flagella, paramecium with the help of cilia, while amoeba uses pseudopodia for the purpose of locomotion. Protists reproduce asexually by binary fission and a few species are capable of sexual reproduction. Protists are categorized into three groups, protozoa, algae and slime molds. Protozoans are unicellular, heterotrophic organisms found in fresh or salt water. Some of the most popular protozoans are amoeba and paramecium. The second category of protists is algae, which are photosynthetic organisms. Some of the most popular algal protists are called diatoms. The third kingdom from Vitacus classification is Kingdom Fungi. Fungi are eukaryotic organisms. They live and survive everywhere, in the air, water, soil, on land, as well as in and on plants and animals. Mycologists that is, scientists who have specialized in the study of fungi believe that there are million fungi, but they have identified only 5% of all fungi till date. Fungi are heterotrophs. They obtain their nutrients by absorption. Saprophytic fungi, such as mushrooms, secrete enzymes to break down dead organic matter in recycling. Other fungi are parasitic and obtain their nutrients from living hosts, harming the host. Fungi cell walls are made up of the carbohydrate chitin and the storage carbohydrate of fungi is glycogen. Fungi have a plant-like body called mycelium which is made up of thread-like structures known as hyphae. Fungi can reproduce sexually as well as asexually. The sexual life cycle of fungi is different from that of other eukaryotes. When two gametes fuse, their nuclei do not fuse but remain separate until the right condition is present. The fusion results into the diploid zygote which immediately undergoes meiosis to return to the haploid state.
the coexistence of two different nuclei is the dikaryotic stage of reproduction which is unique to fungi. During asexual reproduction, the sporangia break open and their haploid spores disseminate and travel to other locations, germinate and lead to the growth of a new hypha. The fungi kingdom is more related to animal kingdom than to plant kingdom. Fungi and animals probably diverged from a common ancestor some 0.6 billion years ago. Kingdom fungi is divided into four phyla. Zygomycetes, Ascomycetes, Basidiomycetes and Mycophyta. Zygomycetes are saprophytic fungi, widespread in soils, dung and are common in decaying food. Muco is an example of this phylum. It is the fungus that is usually found growing on various types of food. Ascomycetes are yeasts, Neurospora and Sodaria. These fungi have a cup-shaped or flask-shaped fruiting body in which SI are formed. SI are spores required for sexual reproduction. Basidiomycetes are mushrooms, toadstools, rusts and bracket fungi. These organisms are composed of septate hyphae. Mycophyta consist of lichens. Lichens are difficult to classify. They are dual organisms formed by an association between an alga and a fungus. The lichen thallus consists of compact fungal hyphae surrounding algal cells. The algal cells manufacture sugar and the fungi retain ions as and when they become available. Lichens are first colonizers of bare rocks and have the capacity to survive extremely adverse conditions. However, they are susceptible to airborne pollution. Fungi are one of the most important groups of organisms which are important to us in a variety of ways. Fungi together with bacteria are responsible for most of the recycling which returns dead material to the soil in a form in which it can be reused. Fungi are also important directly as food for humans. Many mushrooms are edible and different species are cultivated for sale worldwide. Some fungi, such as yeast, is also used in the production of fermented foods and drinks, such as bread and alcohol. Mycorrhizal relationship between roots of certain forest trees benefits these trees which live in soil with less mineral content as the fungi is able to break the humus to release minerals like nitrogen and phosphorus which are later absorbed and used by the plants. Penicillin, perhaps the most famous of all antibiotic drugs, is derived from a common fungus called penicillin. Many other fungi also produce antibiotic substances which are now widely used to control diseases in humans as well as animals.